Hello Breeze, welcome to Vipsville. So today I have my update for my Panda palette. I did not do a lot, <laughs> but I did do something. Um, this shade was already gone. Actually, before we do that, let me show you what it looked like before. So now. Okay, editing me should have done the work. And this is what it looks like now. So really not many changes. I did expand this and this uh, pan quite significantly. Slight increase in this one. This one's already gone. I got some use of this one, but not really much. Same with these two shadows. I got some use out of them, but not much. I actually ended up using this pink one a lot more than I thought I would, which was quite impressive for me. Um, but overall, we're going steady. I think maybe if I really applied myself, I could finish these two shadows right here on the ends. Um, so there's that, and I really need to start using this one more. I would like to see expand, but this, unlike this two other shades, is a lot more hard pressed, so it just picks up less product. Um, and then these three shadows right here, I just don't. My my goal with this was potentially to finish this, but right now my goal for this shadows, this three right here, is to just hit pan. I've had already said it from the beginning. This orange shade, it's xed out. I am not going to use it. But my goal is just going to be to hit pan on these three right here. And then then once I hit pan, I can get my thoughts together and figure out if I want to either finish it or just call it with a pan. Um, but that's going to be the pan for these. That's the goal for these three right here. The ice cream man. <laughs> I live in that neighborhood that we have an ice cream truck that comes by every so often. It just brings me so much joy to hear it. That is so cute. They nev they're never fast enough to like come out and like in order to like buy something, but I just appreciate that they come by. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a call it a day there. It's a super super short video, so it's gonna be more like a a drop in video somewhere in the week because like I said, it's so short and I missed uh, my upload, so I'm a little off schedule. So since it's just a short video, I figured I'll just throw it in as a little like a little sparkle or anything, but. There's that. Um, my goal is not necessarily to finish the entire palette. So overall, happy where I'm at. I could have done a lot more progress on it. Honestly, I didn't really touch it for a real long time. Uh, it's good for like maybe once or twice. And it wasn't until the last like three weeks or so that I actually like consistently started using it. And I made pretty much that prog all that progress in three weeks. So I'm confident if I were to like really apply myself, I could finish those. Um, these three shades real easily especially these two right here I don't care for the shade as much it's, it's a little more orange than it come the looks in the pan and this one's obviously so so light that it you can really see, barely see it and a lot of times I end up mixing these two together because this is a little too bright pink and then kind of this turns it down but everything look, just ends up looking a little too orange honestly for my taste and I am gonna say that the most disappointing shade for me is this one right here because it looks like a very like purple like purple plum but it's actually more like a cranberry and it's not like you see that it's like pink here and it looks plum there I, okay that's a bad example it looks plum there but it's like pink i don't i don't understand i don't understand it's not my favorite thing but i've been able to make it work just fine it's just i just don't like that it's Turns out a little reddish pink. It's not my kind of cup of tea, but it's okay. For now, um, I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully make make more of an attempt to use it at least once a week, which honestly I really hadn't in the past. So please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.